I want to tell you one fact up front that you're powerful, you're talented, and you're special. You have the power to create your world as you see it fit. You are the creator of your destiny and your future. And anything that anyone tells you which is contrary to this fact, my friend, is a lie. And that is the context of my video today. My name is Priya Kumar. I'm a motivational speaker and author, and I welcome you to the creators of the future. And Chiki says, hello. care how hard or challenging circumstances are. I do not care whether your family is giving you a tough time, whether your colleagues are bad, whether your friends are negative or, you know, the market is not well or your boss is the worst person on the planet. There is something you can do. There is a choice you can make. There is an effort you can employ to change your world. You are always in control of your decisions and your destiny. Look, blame will kill you. It will kill your power of creation and your future. No matter what happens, you can still do something about it. I get so many messages and comments on my videos where people elaborately explain to me how life is tough for them and how they are victims and how the family, the boss, the friends, the colleagues, the weather, the finances, everything has conspired against them so that they don't have a good life. Here is the thing. You are powerful and if you believe for even one second that you're not then please stop praying i do not believe that god that you pray to the lord that you go to and ask for a better life is this negative and very evilish being who has made you a victim who has made you incapable who has made you so ordinary that even a blade of grass has more choices than you do I do not believe that. If you were God, would you make people in that light? Would you make such sorry beings who are victims and powerless? That's not God. If you were God, what kind of entity would you be? You would be an all-giving. You would make these human beings so beautiful, so special and so powerful that you are sitting there and saying, go, live your life. I've created this environment and I want to feel good about it. I want to feel good about my creation and what I have done. It is us who have blamed others, who refuse to act accept our power, who refuse to accept that I am responsible, I can make choices and decisions, and I am in the like of that God that I pray to. It is us, it is you and me, my dear friends, that are pretending to be victims and blaming that God that we go and pray to. It's quite contradictory, it doesn't make sense. So either this is true or that is true. Who are you praying to, the devil or God? If you are praying to God, then wake up to the reality that you are special and that you are powerful. So what happens about all the complaints? Somebody just wrote to me, hey, there were these appraisals and my colleague got a promotion. I didn't. Okay, fine. He got a promotion and you didn't. What are you going to do about it? Blame, sulk, do a bad job, look for another job. Those are not solutions. Those are not answers that make you bigger. What can you do right now? Forget your colleague. Forget what kind of destiny awaits him. What will you do? You can work harder. You can learn a new skill. You can do your job better. Now, don't think about, oh, he got a promotion. I didn't. What will I do? Don't think about the colleague, the company or anything else. You think about your life and your future. If you work harder now, if you add to your skills now, do you think you would have a better future tomorrow? I don't know what future your colleague is headed to. I don't know if this promotion is going to serve him and the company. But can you make sure that your presence and your time and your decisions are going to serve you and the company into the future? You get it. Forget others. Take responsibility. What can I do in this moment. There was somebody who wrote to me, oh, my family is so strict. They don't give me any permissions. They don't let me go out, etc. Well, okay, that's your family. You can't change them. Try it. You can't change them. Open all history books. Anybody who's made attempt to change anyone has failed miserably and their lives have become 
hell what can you do you can study harder you can do some more courses on the internet you can start preparing yourself for a better future see your parents your family and the environment has control over your present moment but not over your future it is what you do now will decide the future and your destiny you can do something now you can keep your mind clear keep your focus one year from now 10 years from now 20 years from now find they're powerful now fine you are young now but you're going to grow up one day what about that day what about 2025 you are going to reach there my friend are you going to be well educated are you going to be well read are you going to be a sane person that's a decision you make right now and for all of you who've written countless emails and messages and comments here saying oh my friends are negative they put me down and blah blah and so on well who said these are friends in the first place you chose them okay we do not believe in abandon but you can make some new friends get some new books enroll in a course you know uh, put your time in a hobby speak to some good people take up a good course reduce your time with those negative people i'm not saying go fight them and tell them you're so negative and i'm leaving that never serves anybody but what can you do while your friends are negative and bickering and whatever it is that you describe them to be what can you you do can you read a good book this evening go read it can you speak to someone nice this evening go do that can you go and serve somebody can you help at home can you take up a course can you do some community service can you put your time to good use yes you can do something about it why are you sitting and joining the gang and being negative about your friends like they're being about you do something about it that will affect your present that will affect your mind your sanity and in return your future and for those of you who are having a terrible time at work i feel for you let's say no matter how negative your senior is that he yelled at you he was unreasonable what can you do let's say you're upset what can you do go talk to your colleagues about it call up friends call up family and now get more and more negative that's not going to serve you what can you do that is going to make you a better person in this moment your senior is whoever he is his destiny is in a different direction do you want to walk that way if you want to walk that way join him now you you become like him and start yelling at others to get back to feel good or start being negative about him to others you've joined his destiny my dear but if you want a better future what can you do for yourself right now let's say you're upset go for a walk watch a little music go to the toilet spend 5 minutes clear your head do whatever it takes to understand one thing that other people are other people their futures are different from yours that their destiny their their karma is leading them in a different way you define where you want to go and you know how that happens in the choice that you make in this moment i have a choice no matter what happens in my life i can still choose what am i going to do about it put your attention in that direction put your attention toward positivity there is this world is two sided there is negative and there is positive go hunt for it look for it and you know what you won't have to go too far you have a mobile phone well there is a whole positive world that you can access with a click of a button you are here on my channel that is evidence of that but you came here by choice all right don't let other people's decisions their attitudes their behaviors their mindset affect you i know it's easy to say and difficult to do if you're caught in the moment but a little bit of awareness helps start little start by keeping a good book in your bag start by having a good playlist start by having some good videos already earmarked start by enrolling in something that you would love to do even if it's just an online free course but do something about your life you are the creator of it my dear it is a fact and i agree with you that not everybody is interested in your success and your life getting better in your goodwill a lot of people are here to push you over for their agendas and to use you and take advantage of you to serve their purposes which could be contrary to yours but if you continue to take responsibility for your life now imagine you have strict parents you have a mean boss you have the worst friends in life and you don't have enough finances but you continue to study harder you continue to invest time in reading good books you continue to sharpen your skills what kind of future would you have 
a great one it's all right be a visionary who is a visionary a visionary is a person who looks beyond reality who looks at you who looks at the state of the world who looks at the society and envisions a better future and works toward it today those are the leaders you respect and admire and that is a leader you were meant to be you are powerful you are talented you are special you are capable you can create any reality you so wish if you keep focus on that today if you take full responsibility of your decisions your actions and the way you think no matter what happens around you you are that and anybody who tells you anything contrary to this you included is a lie take it from me so i wish you luck i wish you a great future and it's such a pleasure to be connected i am grateful that i have an opportunity to speak with you and serve and on a parting note have you seen the final call which is a web series based on my book i will go with you it was voted the number one series of the quarter of 2019 and i would highly recommend that you watch it it's about a plane crash although in the book all 256 passengers die it has a very happy ending in the series, a little different, but you will really enjoy it. The entire media has pitched the final call as a series that will change the way you look at your life. That is much needed. So here is some positivity added from my side to you. I will see you again next Sunday.